the British Columbia coast, and the Great Bear Sea. Here, where ancient coastal rainforests meet the rich waters of the Pacific Ocean, the province of British Columbia and 18 First Nations together are designing Canada's first large-scale marine plan. So our plans are designed to take only the natural capital that exists within our region. Whether you're in the terrestrial side or in the marine side, we only take and put into the economy what the region can sustain. And that's what the plans are really about. British Columbia's marine plans encompass about 102,000 square kilometers of vast expanse of ocean that stretches along two-thirds of BC's north coast. These marine plans now serve as the basis for developing new sustainable marine economies. Right now in our communities, we're, we'd be hard pressed to have even one community that had uh, less than 80 or 85 percent unemployment. One crisis after the other, essentially, is what, what brings people to the table, right? Like, the Enbridge uh, Gateway issue, you know, the impacts on marine mammals, the LNG and uh, transportation corridors and cruise ship traffic, marine protected areas, all those things are going to be there into the future to deal with. So the need for proper planning in the face of that is just going to, it's going to increase, right? So many proposals right now in the wings for the expansion of and the building of terminals for different natural resources. So this is an opportunity now to take stock of what we have, put protection measures in place where we really, really need them. Every single community in the Great Bear Sea, Great Bear Rainforest has a marine use plan. They have their own plan. The community plans were harmonized into four sub-regional plans. Haida Gwaii, North Coast, Central Coast, and North Vancouver Island. And then we come together and do a joint plan over the whole region. We deal with industry to come up with ideas. We deal with the environmental community to come up with ideas. That plan is not just about what you set aside in the region, it's also what you do. A strong emphasis of the plans is to create local jobs in shellfish aquaculture, community-based fisheries, marine-based renewable energy, and marine tourism. The basis for these plans is a healthy ocean. You know, there's an extraordinary amount of money that's being spent on commercial recreation or tourism in the North Islands. Kayak tours, sailboat charters, whale watching tours, cruise ship destinations, bear viewing, and then there's the commercial guided saltwater fishing, which a lot of people pay a lot of money for. It's quite a substantial contribution to the marine economy and especially the local economy. British Columbia is not a province that depends on anything but the natural environment. 200,000 jobs that depend on this healthy environment and tourism. There's $3 billion in revenue in this region alone that comes out of the natural capital, the, the halibut and the salmon and the black cod and the crabs and the shrimp, everything that's there. Scientific, traditional, and local knowledge inform the development of the marine plans. We started identifying places on maps that were ecologically important, important to commercial fisheries, important to the tourism and recreation sector, and areas that were culturally important. An amazing example of First Nations and the provincial government working together in co-leadership um, jointly to really advance and marine management and conservation on our coasts. This is a bit of forward planning. It's forward thinking. We're looking into the future and saying, okay, what we've got is pretty good right now. So let's start reversing some of those negative impacts and try to regenerate so that we have that bounty and that beauty of our coast ongoing into the future. You live here because you like it, because you know you like being near the water and you like seeing the whales go by all the time and things like that. Well. Uh, you want to keep seeing them go by? Marine planning, uh, trying to do things a little smarter. This generation's lifetime, it'll make things better. It'll also ensure that there will be something there for the next generation and the generation after that.
then it saved the provincial government a whole lot of money. So it's just a win-win all the way around. For more information, go to mapocean.org.